Okay, so in this tips and tricks video, I want to show you something kind of neat and cool. Uh, you can have surveys, or you can do this with approvals as well, embedded into email messages uh, so that uh, people can fill out a survey without having to re log back in. So, uh, requires a plugin. So, you're going to come here to plugins. And the plugin you are looking for is called Outlook Actionable Messages. So I've actually spared you all and already installed this, but just to show you. Now, it's available in your subprod instances, but if you want to do this in production, you've got to go through the ServiceNow store to go ahead and get it installed in your production instance. Uh, but once you have it installed, Right. The next step is to go to notifications here and you got to find the user survey invite. Sorry. Survey user invite. <laughs> notification. This is the notification that actually sends out uh, the surveys. And you want to come over here into what it will contain. And uh, you can put it anywhere you want because uh, it doesn't matter. But put it here and it's uh, mail script. Includes survey actionable. Now, once you add this, uh, there's a bunch of script includes and whatnot that got installed with this. Now, this email, um, when it gets sent out, is going to look make your surveys look something like this. Right. You have your, your old questions, they'll be able to answer them, and hit submit. That's what that script does. So there's one other step, and that is to come to your survey that you want to make actionable, like that. And you need to, of course, send notifications. Checkbox got to be checked. But a new checkbox has shown up here. And that's Outlook Actionable Message. Save that. And your surveys will now come out as uh, actionable messages, which you can then fill out without having to re-log in. Here's the doc on it. Right. Uh, note here is that uh, these question types are not supported. So attachments, dates, dates, time, templates, reference fields. Unfortunately, image scale is not there, which was sad for me, but uh, or ranking. So as long as your questions for your survey are not any of these, it should work just fine. Give it a try.